Thomas. Uh, we're here at Crossroads, um, February show, and uh, this is the first one in San Diego, so it's, uh, I don't know, a cool, new, exciting venue, and everybody seems really hyped. I'm just going to walk around with you guys and uh, kind of show you some of the people, some of the booths. And we have booths that surround the entire parking lot, and there's a little island of booths, and uh, it's all skateboard companies, and uh, I don't know, it's got a really, you know, good grassroots feel, and everybody can skate around, even if you're riding something as wacky as that. Basically we have like a, a nice mix of uh, shoe brands, hard goods brands, some small brands. Um, it's cool though too, there's like a, everybody has a tent, you know, you have some occasional trucks or something that people want to get into, but it's cool how it all has like a really, you know, organic and natural feel. There's not really, there's no built booths or anything like that, so um, it's got a good vibe and you can see like, you know, like in my opinion, like some of the most relevant brands in, in the industry, actually mo most all are here. Jimmy Sun's here from Taiwan. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I mean, there's, uh, I don't know, I think like a hundred, hundred booths total, so it's not that big, you know, it's like probably the size of, a little bit bigger than a football field. Everybody's got room to, I don't know, carve around and get weird. And we have like certain little areas we set, we set like like-minded brands next to each other. Like there's a little boutique area with like Western Edition, Mighty Healthy, Diamond, and uh, Huff, and Blueprint. Just trying to like, and then we put like Zoo York and Fibro. Those guys are like tight and put them together. And there's some beer guys that really like beer. Some brands that are into beer. I put them next to the beer tent. Try to accommodate everybody we can, and I don't know, just make it a trying to just make everybody, you know feel positive and psyched about the event. This whole, all trade shows should be about convenience for the retailers and making it easy for them to come and see all the new product. And it's awesome that ASR is supporting skateboarding this way and helping us basically cater to, you know, skateboarding and all of the retailers. So, and, and exhibitors, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a big move and I'm just excited that it's actually going so smoothly and it feels so right still, you know. That was my main concern is, is that, you know, it would change the, the vibe of the show, but we tried to make sure that the, the key parts of the show that, that make it what it is, um, make sure that those things stay the same and it doesn't lose like the values of what the show's about. So I think those things are all on track. Key things. Basically being able to skateboard, anybody being able to come in, no security, no hassles, self-policing, um, free food, free drinks, and uh, just a really good vibe of a bunch of skateboarders and only being brands that are skateboard brands. So that's, the, that's pretty much the heart of the show is skateboarding and everybody feeling comfortable enough to do it if they want or cruise around or just be themselves you know I mean it's similar to the way like you know ASR and the convention center was like 10 10 years ago you know um, except with a little bit more rawness and a little more street you know like real skateboarding feel but I mean the, the trade shows used to be like that a long time ago and they kind of just faded and changed and skateboarding kind of took a different direction and I'm kind of hyped just to have it you know everybody everybody united in one place to where everybody can you know kind of vibe out together